Welcome to ESPN Saturday Primetime. You're watching the SEC on ESPN. And oh, are they excited about this one here in Tuscaloosa. The 12 and 3 tied, the 12 and 3 volunteers vying for the top spot of the SEC. It is a sellout here inside Coleman Coliseum. It's a whiteout, and it's Mark Sears, the second leading scorer in the conference at better than 20 points per game. Who's number one? That guy. Dalton Connect, 20.8 on the season, but over 25 points per game in SEC play. Left the three short, and here comes Alabama. Aaron Estrada coming off a triple-double against Ole Miss during the week for that honor. Great ball movement by Alabama, but a miss three by Ryland Griffin. Sears knocks it down means a long rebound and if you can't grab it you just knock it back out and it knocks to Mark Sears who's just had it. Grant Nelson with the assist and the cutting Dalton connect the first bucket for the ball fifth year player in the program so is number 30 Josiah Jordan James and into Jonas Adu who's whose prayer is answered of Buffalo the tide have gone to the sweet 16 twice they're hoping for a deeper run this year Vescovy finds James who knocks down the corner three of looks but here when he catches it all of a sudden Grant Nelson comes over for the double trying for him to get rid of it he finds Vescovy but that shot fake and drive that collapsed the defense and then Josiah Jordan James Nelson after three years at North Dakota State having a really nice year here for Alabama what Tennessee a in transition connect with the slam what a steal by Santiago Vescovy. Boy, Sears so good coming off that little ball screen. Wow. He could beat you so many different ways. Counter with a drive and a hard finish like that with that shooting ability. You're big time. How about that dish from Davin Cosby Jr.? They need to run action at Dalton Connect and make him guard. Griffin puts it on the deck, gets all the way inside, has it knocked away, and then a foul by Tennessee. And Alabama thought there was a foul there, but it looked like Toby Awaka with his left hand got all ball. Going to junior college and then northern Colorado before Tennessee. Good pass. And another one. Meshack passed up the shot. Vescovy will take it and hit it. They are content to do it, and they're supporting Dalton Connect. Yeah, Rick Barnes said they embraced him immediately. Griffin, a good look, and hits it. Well, we mentioned Alabama is first in the nation in points per game. They're first in the nation in offensive efficiency per Ken Palm. They're 100th in the nation in defensive efficiency, though. Sears the bucket. The first team all SEC, but also in the, the mix for player of the year. Like he gets Meshack on his back. That, that's a Jalen Brunson type move. The strength that he shows. And Pringle. What a pass. Cosby. Yes. Not only has to concentrate on Dalton Connect, but they've got to shut down some of these other volunteers. And they're giving up some easy buckets. Pringle over the top and a chance for three. Estrella's gone back to the bench. They don't have a guy on the floor bigger than 6'6", Josiah Jordan James. That was just a lack of communication on the part of Tennessee. Ran a little flex cut low, and then Mark Sears came up and set a back screen. And Alabama really wants to get some penetration so they can spray it off the help. Good defense there by James. It winds up going to Cosby, corner three. Are that all? It's been a low possession game for an Alabama game. Usually it's up and down and up and down. And overall, Alabama's defense has been pretty good. They've made things difficult on Tennessee, but it's just there are a few loose balls away. Good offensive rebound by Wagi there. Got an extra possession. And they pay it off with a Mark Sears three. Get in front there, but watch Aaron Estrada here. Well, that was after the offensive rebound. Estrada keeping the dribble alive off the glass it's good and it's down to five he just would not be denied
stop and go, connect to Adu, and he has it taken away by Sears. Just brought it down enough where the little guys could get to it. Those darn little guys. Graham Nelson with a three. Or he just melted on that screen instead of fighting over it, and Vescovy took advantage of it. Griffin right at connect, and he lays it in. Vescovy baseline keeps the dribble alive. Connect is open. And that's his first three of the game. And Pringle picked up, remember, those three fouls in the first half. Awaka in for James for Tennessee. Estrada the three. And all of a sudden, Zakai Ziegler, you know, he's trying to protect at the nail. What are you protecting? They're not going to take a shot in there. Sears. Estrada. Boy, that is two talented, savvy guards right there. Was guarding inside, got switched off on a big guy, and just fought like crazy to make it tough. And then a strong drive and finish for Sam Walters, the freshman. Well, look at the pressure by Ziegler on Sears, one of the better defenders in the country. I don't know how Sears knew Pringle was there, but he did. Give him another assist. He rhythm. And look at that little hesitation move and then the wraparound pat. And speaking of that Gonzaga St. Mary's game, I thought Jay Williams made a courageous prediction this morning that St. Mary's would win the West Coast Conference regular season when it's in that pitch. game tonight. They've already won it. Twinched it. <laughs> <laughs> Zakai Ziegler. Think the SEC tournament in Nashville is going to be any fun? Yes. Mayshack, nice bounce pass into Adu. That's a tough matchup for Alabama with Estrada on connect. He's given up a lot of size. Ziegler the drive, the kick, Mayshack the three. Got wow. it. That's and Tennessee leads. Mayshack a little push off and lays it in. Just kept it alive. Ziegler the spin. What a pass. Best could be the kick. Ziegler the three. Boy, that is pretty stuff. And then once they attack the paint, they can spray it out. Spraying it out to Vescovy, the shot fake, the paint open again, and then gets it back where it first started with Zakai Ziegler for the big three. Tennessee up five. One on one with Diabate. Elevates and hits. You're just not going to stop that. Same play to try to get connect the ball. Let's see if they send another defender. There it is. They swing it to James, who knocks down the three. Finds Sears. He gets inside and lays it in. Boy, is he crafty. Driving the kick. Ziegler, a deep three. Pringle has it. And it's a one possession game with 40 seconds to go. Sears. Short. Connect the rebound. Yeah, you hate to say, hey, it's about when it's long or loose, but, but when it's long or loose, you better get it. And Alabama had a chance to get it, but Tennessee did. This has been a gritty, tough win for the Volunteers on the road when they didn't play their best offensively. And a win that I think certainly would keep them under consideration for a one seed. A lot of that depends on what they do next week, what North Carolina does, what Arizona does. Arizona's the linchpin. I mean, they're, they're the one team that could fall out and Tennessee could replace. I think the other three are solid. And that'll do it. Tonight's player of the game brought to you by Voya. Zakai Ziegler had 18 points and four assists in this game.